Hello, I'm George from Classic and Electric Vehicles, and this is our Morris Minor Electric Conversion. Hello and welcome to Classic and Electric Vehicles Headquarters here in Durham City. In this video I'm going to tell you all about our electric Morris Minor conversion and also at the end of the video I'll tell you a little bit about the other things that we do, some of which you can see behind us. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on and have a good look around the electric Morris Minor conversion. So first of all, let's have a look under the bonnet. The first thing you may notice, and one of the only things that gives away the fact that this is 100% electric, is the charge port on the front. This is a Type 1 charge port, although in any on conversions it can be any type of charge port. This could be Type 1 or Type 2, and we also have the ability to add CHAdeMO as a, an option as well if you would like uh, rapid charging on the vehicle. So that's on the front. That's where we plug it in to get it charged up. And then the next thing you'll see is the big box of batteries which is a box of six modules from a Nissan Leaf they are th the 30 kilowatt hour modules but we could make it with 24 kilowatt hour modules or 40 kilowatt hour modules as they are all the same physical size and um, that has a nice big service fuse on the front to make sure that it's safe when it's being worked on underneath there you can't see particularly but is the inverter and motor from a Nissan Leaf now that's got 107 brake horsepower, which is a little bit up on the 39 brake horsepower that the car originally would have had, around about 39 brake horsepower. Um, we've also got down in here a DC to DC converter, which takes the roughly 300 volts direct current from the battery pack and converts that into 14 volts to charge the 12 volt auxiliary battery, which is located in the boot. Up at the back there, you can just see the, the orange curls of the cables for the charger. Now that charger in this particular vehicle at the moment is a three kilowatt charger. So if you were to plug that into a, a three pin socket, it would take roughly about 14 hours to charge the 10, 20 kilowatts of batteries that we have in, in here. If you plugged it into a, um, a three kilowatt charger, it would take roughly around about seven hours to, to charge, six to seven hours. Um, that can be upgraded to a, a six kilowatt charger. And in fact, we have one of those in stock and we have trial fitted that, that all fits in, in exactly the same place. And obviously that would increase your um, your charging speeds as long as you had a, a six kilowatt, seven, well, seven kilowatt, 32 amp feed at your house or wherever you charge your, your vehicle. Um, and then under here, the only other thing that's any different to a standard car is the big black, black box that's on the bulkhead there. That's the, all the contactors that controls the flow and when the batteries can give electricity to the to the motor. Um, this car has standard drum brakes all around on it. One of the things that we've done in, in this conversion is to do it to a, a standard car to see how that worked and see how the suspension worked and how everything works on a bog standard car. Um, we've changed nothing on the suspension and in fact another thing that we're really proud of is this is a bolt in bolt out conversion we've only drilled roughly around about 24 extra holes and that's just to, to mount extra little bits and pieces the battery box is supported here on um on a cage that is bolted to the original um, motor mount points and also to the bulkhead um, so like I say, all this is bolt in, bolt out, so should you change your mind that you don't want your vehicle electric anymore, you can take it all out and put the uh, the, the motor, the, sorry, not the motor, the engine back in and have a bog standard original Morris Minor. So that's all of the stuff that's in the front end. Um, let's have a look inside and see what's different in there. Welcome to the interior of our conversion. So any of you that know Morris Miners will be looking at this and thinking, this looks just the same as any other Morris Miner. That's on purpose. We haven't really messed with anything in, inside. 
The only difference with this car is it's got a lovely Series 2 upgraded interior, but that's not a prerequisite for any conversions. It could have a standard interior. Um, the only differences are twofold. There's a switch down here, which is the forward, neutral and reverse switch. And over here we have a battery meter gauge, which shows you the state of charge of the battery. And if there's any errors, it pops a light on there. So that's the only differences internally to a standard Morris Minor that you can see. Um, we, you, you'll also notice that we have this thing here, which is the, obviously the, um, the selector for the manual gearbox. We've left the standard four-speed manual gearbox and mated that to the Leaf motor using a custom billet aluminium adapter and coupler. Um, that means that you've got all four speeds. Um, we haven't put a clutch in this one, but we can put a clutch in if that was something that you wanted us to do. Uh, in this one, you select the gear that you want. So say you want fourth. Fourth is much of the, my preferred gear because it's nice and quiet. All of the other three gears in the gearbox make a whine, which is standard for a Morris Minor gearbox. You just don't normally hear it because you've got the engine mask and the noise. So anyway, um, manual gearbox, um, and I'll turn it on. because In this, because we've got a manual gearbox, you can actually rev the car. So if I pop it in forwards, you should be able to hear it rev the motor. Cool. And so, to the boot of the Morris Minor conversion. As you can see here, we've got a big silver box. That big silver box contains 12 of the 18 modules from the Nissan Leaf that we've got in there. Um, this battery box also contains the battery management system. As you can see at the back, you've got your bit, another service fuse here to make sure it's safe when it's being worked on. And the connector that then feeds the power off down to the front of the car to join up with the front battery box and then to the motor. Um, originally, the boot floor height was to here, um, as the spare wheel is housed under the boot floor in the miner. Um, we've done away with the spare wheel. We will put a puncture repair kit in there um, and a, a get-home tin of um, tyre sealant as well. Um, and the floor it will be going back in here, at, just at a high height. So you'll still have boot space in there. It's just been reduced by from that level up to that level. So that's really as much as there is in the boot, apart from the 12 volt um, auxiliary battery, which is down the back of the battery box. So that's all of the things in the Morris Minor conversion. So starting at the front with the, the, the vast majority of things, the motor, the inverter, the contactors, the front battery box, and the DC to DC converter. Um, and then in the back is simply the battery management system and the rear battery pack. Um, weight distribution is, is much better, uh, so it's around about 50-50. It's about an extra 75 kilos heavier than it was before, so kind of one person heavier than it was before. But obviously it's got a lot more power than it had before um, and drives really, really nicely. So that's it for, for this. So I'll let's go on to telling you a little bit more about what we do in, in the other areas of the business and telling you how you can get in touch with us. Classic and Lake Rig Vehicles has three strands. We have classic cars, which we sell. We have electric cars, which we sell electric cars, but we also sell the electric car parts from the Nissan Leaves that we take the bits to do the conversions, and we have the conversions. So this all came around from me buying a, an electric, actually a Nissan Leaf, um, six years ago and getting more and more interested in electric vehicles. That's with my background in the motor trade. I grew up from the age of 17 selling cars, running garages, um, working on cars, working in drag racing. So this was a, a, a kind of a natural progression for me. And as I realized how great electric cars were, um, I decided that I wanted to, to combine the, the fantastic qualities of an electric car with all the character and aesthetics of a, a classic car. So spent a couple of years researching everything. And then we've spent the last year building the prototype, which is the one that we've just showed you. Um, that's all done now, and because we're doing that, we also then get asked if we can sell classic cars on behalf of people, so we have those in stock. Um, like I said, because of the, the, the leaf stuff that we use, we, we have a few of these cars that we've removed the motors and batteries and, and everything from that we need for the conversions, and then instead of just throwing them away, we're recycling them by selling the parts on to those people who, who need them. So those are the three areas of the business. Um, one thing to point out with the conversions as well, it's not just Morris Miners. That just happens to be what we've got in stock at the moment and the first car that we picked. We can use this drivetrain 
on just about any car. If you wanted more power, we could look at using Tesla motors or aftermarket motors and all, all the different types of batteries that are out there. So please just get in touch with us um, and we can discuss exactly what you need and how best to accommodate that and how best to build that for you. We've now, in the last um, few months, moved into a wonderful um, headquarters, which we've shown you briefly a little bit of. Um, this is kind of our workshop area and we've got a, a 12 car showroom that we can to, to house both electrics and classic cars and the conversions as well that's just outside of durham city up in the northeast of england we'd love you to come visit us and, and have a cup of coffee and, um, and and look around and see what we do obviously at the moment uh, very much social distanced and, and very much made sure that everybody's safe and, and healthy um, if you want to find out more about us please go to our website which is www caev.co.uk in fact you can see it on my chest and you've probably noticed it a few times as we've uh, as we've been talking so far so those are the things that I really wanted to tell you about um, please please get in touch if there's any questions that you've got we'll be making regular video content not just about the conversions but also about the classics that we have and also the, the leaf stuff as well um, so please like and subscribe if you're watching this on youtube um, if you're looking, if you found us on Facebook again, follow us on there and any of the other social medias that you may have found. Us.